Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the video. So this video is basically a continuation from part one. So if you haven't already done so, please be sure to check that out where I show you amazing finds that I've found through the Spock app and the ideal pricing to list them and what prices I found them for. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Now let's get back to the video and look at through some great items. Thank you. So first up, are the Charlie and Lola books. These were listed for £2 and I offered £1.50 and she accepted luckily. Now Charlie and Lola books sell for quite a good price. Now considering I bought them for £1.50 the recent sales can go up to from £6 to £10 depending on how popular these books are. Now these are the non-hardbacks so these could possibly sell for less than £10 but considering I purchased these for £1.50 I can still make either the triple profit of from, from what I purchased them from. Let's move on to the next item. So next up is the Halo 4 limited edition collector's item Halo 4 and this is for the Xbox 360 and I have to say this limited edition is just next level because you get some like these weird booklets in there and you get like a massive poster and the packaging is is really really well done I'm not a Halo fan unfortunately so I kind of don't really recognize the material or it means anything to me but I do know that the Halo series are popular and people still play them and knowing that this is a limited edition I just had to pick this up the seller had list listed this for nine pounds and I offered four pounds and she happily accepted this was part of another deal or a bundle which the seller was selling together so I picked these up all in one go but yeah I'm happy with this find now the comps for this particular collector's edition range from 10 to 12 pounds and i've already listed this enough for 12 pounds so i'm going to give my look towards this sale so hopefully this should sell if not i'm happy to accept an offer for 10 pounds for this it, it is very impressive i have to say definitely definitely recommend any limited edition items because you may well get a good sale out of them let's move on to the next item Next up is Scrabble Junior. So this is the Scrabble edition for kids. This was listed for five pounds and I offered three pounds and she happily accepted. Again, this was part of the bundle with the Halo 4 sale that I showed you earlier. And the lady was very nice and kind so she accepted the offer. So I'm happy with this purchase. These sell for roughly around about eight to nine pounds on eBay. So considering for what I bought it at and what I'm going to sell it for, hopefully this should give me a good turnaround. Again, I will be open to offers. So if you do find any board games that are good in value, I would definitely recommend you picking these up. Let's move on to the next item. So the next two items are two PS3 games. The first one is the Dragon Ball Z game this one is the burst limit and the second one is a game called Genji so the Dragon Ball Z was being sold for 10 pounds I offered five and she accepted and then she messaged me back saying I also have other PlayStation 3 games and she listed me like several PS2 games and Genji stood out to me and I purchased this one for three pounds she just happily accepted without even questioning or saying anything back. Um, the Dragon Ball Z game ranges from around about 7 to 8 and the Genji is again at similar pricing so considering what I've paid for them I should hopefully make good money out of them. Now the only downfall is that I do not have a case. These do not come in a case or any booklets so I am listing them as is but considering that the main game is the feature, hopefully they will sell. Let's move on to the next item. So next up are more Charlie and Lola books. This time these are hardback copies. 
and it comes with an adorable little tote bag which is just here and it's kind of like new as well it, these books are in amazing condition now the hardbacks do sell well on ebay which range from 12 to 15 pounds so again a good find the seller listed these for five pounds and i offered 350 and she happily accepted with no questioning or any other offers so i'm glad about that and the fact that i didn't realize these are hardbacks until i came home and checked these i just thought they were normal paperback so to my surprise they are hardbacks as you can see and hopefully these should give me a really good resale value i've listed these as 15 pounds so i'm hoping I get a good sale on these ones so i'm really really happy with this purchase and it has come as a surprise that these are hardbacks so i kind of got lucky there but yeah definitely recommend looking out for these hardback charlie and lola books because they are popular in a children's world but yeah let's move on to the next item next up we have the seen it xbox 360 game bundle now i initially made the offer for five pounds and it was accepted against a asking price of nine pounds which is really good however the great thing was when i went to collect the items the wonderful and kind seller gave me this game for free so you're in the movies xbox 360 now i don't know how this works with this i don't think it does but it was an additional game for free and i'm very grateful to the seller the Seen It bundle on Xbox 360 usually sells on eBay for around about 11 to 12 pounds. So I've listed this without the main box, which is just the packaging really. And hopefully I'm, I will get a sale on this. Everything is in really, really good condition. All four controllers here with the USB sensor. Again, everything is official and the discs are brilliant everything is in working order so i'm hoping to get a full price sale on this one let's move on to the next item here we have the xbox 360 compatible skylanders portal along with the cards and this massive trap team poster now i'm not sure what this is used for so it came with the actual bundle she listed this as nine pounds and i offered for four and she happily accepted and she also threw in this pokemon tin which holds these cards in which was really nice of her so this is the pokemon card game tin it's all metal as you can see trading card game so i'll probably sell that individually as well but yeah it, it's in very very good condition i know i know skylander games sell quite well they, do, they may take time to sell, but they eventually do sell. So the recent comps that I've checked on this particular portal was it was sold for around about £6.99. So that's quite a good pricing for a portal. But considering that I have the cards and the poster as well, I probably will list this for around about nine pounds maybe or maybe ten pounds depending on how well it goes if i need to reduce the price a little i will do that but also open to offers so i will probably list that as nine pound 99 then but yeah a really really good find i've also checked the comps on the tin just an empty tin and they go for on about three to five pounds again something that is for free and I could make value of it that is a true bargain so I'm really glad that I could sell this off and it is worth something because at the end of the day it is a Pokemon item and Pokemon items do sell well so again I'll probably list this for five pound and then just open to office for around about three to four pounds again I'm happy with this little bundle that I found and hoping to make good value on this one here we have two Nerf Rebel bows. So these are children's girl toys. So similar to the Nerf guns, 
you have Nerf bows. These come without the arrows and they only come with the bows as you can see. This was an absolute steal. You won't believe me that a local seller sold these to me both for three pounds. That's right, these two were sold to me for three pounds. I was absolutely shocked and amazed. These are in such good quality, as you can see. And I have sold one like this previously, which I bought from a car boot sale, sold for around about 13 pounds. And recent comps, as you can see, again, recently sold for 13 pounds also. So it still holds that really good value. So if you think about it, I bought these two for £1.50 each and hopefully they will go for £13 each. I pro probably won't sell these as a bundle. I want to make individual money on this. And if it takes a very long time to sell, I'll probably bundle them up. But yeah, I'm so excited about this sale. So the last and final item for this video today is the Xbox 360 Traptanium Portal. So again, this is one for the Skylander games. The seller listed this for £5 and I offered £2 and she happily accepted. And checking the comps for this item in particular, the last one was sold for £9. So these hold quite a good value. So it is USB connects to your Xbox 360 and it is very popular in terms of the gaming world because kids love this type of things and knowing that I can get full £9 for it or even 8 considering I only paid £2 for it is quite good value and I will recommend anyone who, who are into gaming and know the gaming stuff to look out for this because they do sell cheap on, um, on Spock and people just want to get rid of these items because no one's buying these but they hold really good value if you find them at a very good cheap price. So happy with this item and I'm hoping for it to go off the shelf real, real soon. So there you have it guys. That was all the items that I bought from Spock at a very, very good pricing and deals. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it really useful and it helps you in terms of buying items from Spock and holding true value to the items and what you can sell them for. And if you really have liked this video and it really helps you, please be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Please comment to what you found through Spock and what has sold for you. Let's help each other. Let the community grow for resellers. And please be sure to hit that like button. Tell everyone about this video let's spread the word and please be sure to check out my other videos on my youtube channel mr sq life until then i'll see you in the next one